Welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit, and I'm delighted now to be joined by Charlie Anderson, who's with Amazon Web Services, and you work with big organizations like the UN. And what's interesting in your case is that you've come from a policing background to Amazon Web Services. Tell me a bit more about that. So firstly, thank you. It's really great to be here. Um, yes, so I spent 16 years as a police officer um, in the UK before I moved into technology really relevant for me because actually as a police officer one of our challenges is knowing what we know data wise at the point that we need to and so six years ago i made the move into technology into aws in particular because i recognized that there was an opportunity around artificial intelligence machine learning that could help direct public services governments organizations to actually deliver on their critical mission to protect to serve to save life interesting so What's the importance of having a platform for international dialogue around the future of AI like here? So events like this are fantastic and it's great to be at this event. There's been some incredible conversations, but this is an international discussion. It has to be an international dialogue where we discuss these challenges and also the insights, the value from it. Because if you want the true value of artificial intelligence to be realized, it has to be in collaboration. So this is really key for us. So looking at the benefits of AI, uh, have to address so many global challenges, of course. We're talking about the Sustainable Development Goals. Tell me about that. So I think over the last two days, we've heard some fascinating cases around where AI can be leveraged to tackle climate change, education, or for me, the one that I find really fascinating is health. So if you think about the world of healthcare, actually, AI's changed that now for good forever. If we think about the way that you use artificial intelligence and technology, we see an opportunity now where you can use um, voice recognition that will then take technology to text, so voice to text, text to natural language processing, so the machine can understand the everyday language, which will allow uh, doctors, surgeries, organizations to automate some of those initial tasks around triaging or making appointments. But it goes on from there, because what we then see is scientists within MIT that are able to use AI and ML to detect a pattern in coughs, really, really quite critical. Back three years ago during the pandemic, people could upload and share their cough with doctors, physicians, to be able to determine if they were unwell. And then I think as you look at the hot topic at the moment around Gen AI, the exciting bit there is generative AI actually allows you to extract from huge data sets and make sense of that. And I guess it, it's really important to recognise that this is not about replacing physicians, nurses, anything else. It's about automating some of the tasks so that they can actually focus on the human humanity, the human side of things that they need to do as medical professionals. Really interesting. And this moves on to my next question. The technology has to be done in a safe and ethical way. So I think it would be fair to say that what we see now with AI and ML is the most transformational innovation of our generation, like without a doubt. Um, but with that, there has got to be the responsible use and the approach around that. You think organizations that are leveraging AI and ML, they're tackling key human issues, issues that they couldn't necessarily solve without the benefits of technology sorting through the data. At AWS, we're really proud to support our customers as they build. And we often get questions around the responsible use. So we've produced a guide that helps to look at the three main areas of machine learning to give guidance as they move forward with what they build. And alongside that, we really like the concept of human-centered following the rule of the law, and also taking the societal values that we hold around equity, diversity, inclusion. So the responsible approach for us should be embedded. It's not a separate stream. It's the foundation in which we build the technology. Great, and that also leads on to the, there has to be collaboration between the private sector, the public sector, NGOs. Um. So if you think about the world around government organizations, public sector bodies, what they do, the key challenges that they face is immense, it's huge. Um, and they have limited resources to tackle some of those challenges by, with bringing in technology. But working with organizations like AWS, like with cloud technology, actually that allows them to really, really focus on 
the bit that matters around patient care or teaching or whatever else that may be. Um, that partnership has is at the foundation of it. If you don't collaborate and work together, the technology that we have versus the, the resources of the public sector organisations is really, really difficult. So we believe that collaboration is the thing that will allow us to move forward with uh, a safe society for the future. Fascinating. We could go on for much longer. <laughs> Charlie Amazon from AWS, Amazon Web Services. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for yours. And we'll have so much more coming up on the AI for Good Global Summit right here. Keep on watching. Thank you.